Hello and welcome to my first ever career mode series on this channel. We will be doing a very special save to start with as we will be using the New York Cosmos. This is a creator club idea which I talked about in my previous video and also in the first episode of my brand new podcast. So be sure to check it out by clicking the link in the description. So funnily enough I actually already started the save but 7 games in I realized I put the Cosmos in the wrong side of the MLS as every New York team should be in the Eastern Conference instead of the Western Conference. So I'm quickly going to recreate everything in a new save. You would have already seen me creating the badge, kits, stadium and everything in my previous video so I will only show some screenshots or small clips while I'm talking over this. But now we have loaded the save again and we can do a fresh start. So we now have to choose the preseason tournament and I think I'm going with the first one, the Champions Trophy, 1 million uh, as prize money. Uh, I changed a couple of things from the video you saw uh, or from my previous video. One is that I uh, lowered the quality of my uh, players because I felt it was a bit too good to start off with. Uh, so we now only have, I think, no 70 rated players, uh, which isn't good of course, but at least it's a bit more of a challenge. Yeah, our squad is nothing special really. They are all generated players uh, that we will replace throughout each season uh, with real players of course. I will try and sort of keep hold of the designated players rule the MLS has currently, which basically means that you can only have two or three players with a big wage basically. And I'm going to try and sort of Keep that in mind whilst I'm doing the transfers. Of course, it won't be really fun if I just select or buy a lot of players who are just quite good still because they are older players, but they are still quite cheap. And I just replace the entire team with and I just easily win the MLS. That's of course no fun for anyone. Our transfer budget is $50 million. Uh, of course, the New York Cosmos had a very rich owner, which I said in the video and in the podcast episode. Uh, so if you know, you know. Uh, I think it's a fair start. I think having 100 million or more is just too unfair. And I think 50 million will help us sign, you know, like one or two good players, one or two good older players. And let's see who we have in the youth academy. We have one uh, very good player or two very good players. One in particular, Jordan Brown. 77 to 94 potential, 71 rated already. He looks fantastic. 5 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves. Also has the playmaker trade. Well, that's definitely a good, a good start. Let's see if we can maybe make him some sort of cam or center mid. Would he get an upgrade? I think he would get an upgrade, you know. This is quite difficult. I will go back here in a second because I will just first have a look uh, and also see who we have in the squad who might potentially could play as a center mid or as a cam. Also, if you ever hear some background noise, I'm sorry for that, but I live in, well, not a very uh, quiet place, I should say. Let's make Alex Pavlenko, who also has good potential. Uh, let's keep him as a cam and let's upgrade his dribbling a lot. Dynamo, yes, Dynamo is the way to go. We also have Akahito Ueda. Also 70 to 94 potential, definitely not a bad player. I think we can make him more of a left winger. Would he be good as a left winger? Yeah. Uh, he might just get a few ratings upgrades. And we also have a goalkeeper Fabrizio Gil. Don't think he will be much with just a maximum potential of 82, but let's just keep him for now, you never know. So whilst creating the badge and the kits and such, I was thinking of a few transfers. I already have one or two basically two in mind. One is Giorgio Chiellini who actually announced uh, that he is leaving Juventus in real life and he is actually linked with a move to the MLS to America. Uh, so I think he would be a great player to have at the back. Of course a great leader as well and this would actually be sort of realistic. Of course he will go down in rating quite quickly as he is 85 rated and probably will go down quite soon to probably like an 80 rating I expect so at the at the end of the year but at least he, he will be fun to have I guess. Uh, next up we have a Real Madrid player Marcelo of course he's now not really playing anymore for Real Madrid. He's 79 rated still 32 years of age so we could still use him for a couple of years and of course if you know you can change his uh, position to I think a cam or a sentiment and he will both go up to like a plus two or plus three or 
a maybe even a plus four upgrade so we will try and sign him as well let's have a look a last look at Danny Alves I think he will be retiring oh he isn't well in the previous save that I uh, loaded he was actually yeah about to quit at the end of the season but he's actually not really decided to retire just yet so he could be a very fun player as well well I'm actually quite surprised by that and I also signed two more players in the in the previously loaded save one is Enzo Loyodais who I used a couple of FIFAs back I believe it was FIFA 19 and a sort of youth academy trials I made and he was actually one of my favorites and I believe he still has quite a decent potential and he also has a real game phase so that will help as well of course he is a young talent who plays in Europe in Spain he is French, probably not the most realistic signing, but let's just imagine that he would like to reach the top via a different route. Let's just say that and that he would like to experience the MLS at the beginning of his career instead of at the end. Another player I signed in my previously loaded save is Jesse Zardes, who now plays for Colorado Rapids. He's 72 rated, he is very quick, has good stamina and decent finishing and dribbling stats as well. I've also used him over the years a couple of times. I've only tried the MLS a few times, but I always quite enjoyed it. I think I did one with Columbus Crew and with Atlanta United. So these are some of my first signings. Um, I'm not going for all three of them, for all Dani Alves, Marcelo and Chiellini. I'm at least going to sign Loya Dice and Zardas first, and I will just skip most of the negotiations part because it's not really interesting. So I signed Sardes and Lawyer Dice already. And I'm now kind of torn between who I should sign. I think I'm going to make a bit of a switch up and not sign Marcelo, but signing Dani Alves for now. And that's purely because of the age, because I think we can always use Marcelo in a later season or a, like in season two, season three. And I think because we actually have the possibility of signing Dani Alves, we should just try and get him and just make a bit of use of him. I think he will retire quite soon, so you never know. I think it, it will be fun to have him and I also think he gets an upgrade in the sentiment or camp position, which I will have to check in a bit. But let's just offer, offer 3 million, that's fair. Okay, and I will just skip this part. I will also sign Chiellini, just so you guys know. And if you guys have any other suggestions for transfers I should make, then please let me know in the comments below. I've looked at many players like Falaini and such, but I've never really, never really made the decision on which players I should go for next. So just let me know in the comments. So I just signed all the players. Um, I'm going to put them in this in the team. Uh, Chiellini, of course has to be the captain as well. There's no other choice about it. Dani Alves, we are first going to put as a right back, but as you can see by his stats, he can also play as a center mid or a cam. So I think I will just keep the 4-4-2 formation for now. And let's see, he gets a plus four uh, in rating uh, when he plays as a center mid. So, well, that just basically means he is going to get an upgrade. So we will do uh, a position change in a second. Cameron is getting back into the team. Jones is getting replaced by Lawyer Dice. And Zardes is going to get into the team instead of Martin, I think. Let's just see who we are going to put on the bench. Nyang doesn't look too bad with his rating. Uh, Jones, of course. Uh, Smith as well. I don't really like having a second goalkeeper on the bench because they just don't need to come on at any point i don't think i've ever gotten a red card or an injury in career mode with a goalkeeper so i don't really see any point of actually having these players or actually having the goalkeepers on the bench i think that looks decent let's do the tactics let's well that's basically what i always use just press after possession loss over 45 it's a fast build up direct passing the width can be a bit lower to 55 uh, this is going to have three players in the box and this is the same with the corners the rolls let's just see I think Dani Alves can take all the free kicks penalties as well. Dani Alves, you can take all the responsibilities. Let's just put some easy instructions on these players. Overlap is fine. The wingers have to get in behind. Sardis as well. The other striker can stay central. I will also do a position change for Loyo Dice. Um, because I know he also gets a plus one when he is converted to a center mid. Um, and it will only take two weeks. So yeah, that almost always means he gets an upgrade. And Danny Alves, he would 
also take two to four weeks i believe when he is converted to a sentiment sentiment is four weeks and the cam is basically the same but as we don't really use a cam we will just keep him as a sentiment now to the board expectations i put this on football giant which means we basically have a critical brand exposure a critical continental success which i mean there are no objectives because there is no continental cup uh, in america so that's a bit of a shame but oh well domestic success means that we probably have to win the mls within a few seasons and it also says there at the bottom win the league title within four seasons which i think is quite fair sign three players from north america sure that's not too bad as well sign at least one player younger than 20 years old and keep the player salary growth under 30 percent also if you guys want to use or actually want to suggest any other rules or maybe objectives uh, i should do within this save then also let me know in the comments i'm really excited to actually read the comments and hear what you guys have to say uh, i think jordan brown we will keep him as a right mid because we actually already have a good sentiment deal with Lawyer Dice and Danny Alves. Let's see, can we give him a bit more pace maybe? He already has good enough passing. Yeah, let's just use support mid midfielder so his pace and dribbling goes up. Uh, and also a bit of his defending as well. And we will do the shooting uh, later. So if I'm correct, the league table is now good. We are actually in the good conference now and it looks like it yes we are with new york red bulls and new york city fc within the same division which is of course the right one and the western conference has all the other leagues and well we will figure out how the players work and at a later date we at least have to finish any top seven spot um also just so you guys know i don't uh, use the training days i don't really like using them because well if you get an a on all the drills each player will just have a plus five rating automatically and I just think that's a bit too overpowered for my liking. So I will not do them and they will just all get a D. And I will just have to play very well to get the players uh, to a bigger rating. And Giorgio Chiellini is actually greeting me. Well, the future is exciting, let's just say that. The first match is against Cruz Azul. But I'm going to sim it because I don't really care about this uh, preseason tournament. So we actually lost the first match 4-2 to Cruz Azul. Uh, second match is against another Mexican side, against Toluca. Let's just see, we actually win that match, which is quite good. Now all the teams are three points. And the last match is against Pachuca, so this will be very difficult, I imagine. But let's just sim it and hope for the best. Oh, we actually win that one as well. Now we are in the semi-finals against Houston Dynamo. Now we got a transfer offer for one of our players. I'm not really going to sell any players because we don't really have that many in general. Uh, I have also put up the injury frequency setting uh, in the slider section because well i don't ever get any injuries i don't know about you guys but i'm honestly like never getting even one injury and we actually win the semi-finals against houston dynamo on penalties so we actually have to play cruz azul again who is actually the only team we lost to in this tournament and lawyer dice's position change is already available to change he's 70 rated now of course plus one yeah i'm not going to lie i really don't care about these preseason tournaments so i'm just going to sim this one as well uh, let's just hope no we lose 3-1 well now we actually have to wait a couple of months uh, till April to our first game it's kind of a weird system how how EA actually decided uh, on where to start in an MLS save um, so we will just sim the end of this uh, month uh, I'm not expecting anything to happen but of course the summer transfer window is getting close very very quickly oh and the release clause is actually met for one of our players Ibrahim Nyang or Ibrahim Nyang I'm only going to do this in this first season but i'm going to extend this contract and just remove this uh, release clause because we actually kind of need him contract extension plus one year and now he doesn't have a release clause that's a simple fix of course of course a bit too overpowered you could say but alva's position change has been completed as well let's just go over there and see he already has minus one because well he's 37 years old and now he goes from 76 to 80 oh wow that's a very big upgrade that's a plus four upgrade fantastic and one of our youth academy players is also ready to change to a new position and he actually has also 
a very big upgrade as a left winger, 57 rated already. He might actually turn into a good player, you know. We might actually have to sign him up in a few seasons. So it seems like all of these three players are actually turning out to be very good to use. Wow. So this is going to be our first 11 for the first game, which is a cup game in round two. Um, I'm not going to promote the youth player uh, just yet because, well, maybe a bit overpowered. I want to let you guys decide if you actually think I should use him or if I should release him and, you know, maybe hope on the other youth academy players to turn out great. Um, I'm going to play this first uh, match against Columbus Crew, of course, one of former, or uh, one of Sardis' former teams. Um, and let's hope my PC actually can run this, uh, the gameplay this time, because the previous times it couldn't, but I changed some things and I'm just going to hope for the best. So here we are in the first game of the season, well, game we are going to play in the series. Of course in the New York Cosmos Stadium, so this is also a first. So let's see if we can actually try and win. As you can see I have decided to use the football lines or the football pitch lines for my own stadium because of course it's more of an American thing and I thought it would fit quite well with this creator club idea. We can of course always later change that later. And what a save by our defender Jackson. That's not a very good start already. Let's see what Dani Alves can do from center mid of course. It's also a new position for him. Or oh, well he played at or in midfield uh, in Brazil. So this could be quite a fun experiment I guess. Can we get a cross in to Zardas? And it's just white. And we are putting on some high pressure. And um, here's Sardes. Sardes with the shot. And he hits the crossbar. The keeper was just standing there. And what a shot from Sardes. Unfortunately that didn't go in. And here's Smith. Our other striker I believe. And he doesn't get a shot on. We have Campbell on the right. Can he get a pass to Dani Alves? Dani Alves with the shot and with the goal. It's 1-0 to the Cosmos already. 18 minutes in, Dani Alves with his first ever goal for the club. And it's a great goal as well. What a strike. Oh, he hit that perfectly on his left foot. Not amazing goalkeeping, but we have to remind ourselves that this is the MLS. Campbell with the cross to Dani Alves again. It's Dani Alves. Oh, and it's Smith with the rebound. And it's 2-0 already. We are dominating this game against Columbus crew. I didn't expect this. Definitely not with a few lower rated players as well. Of course we have Dani Alves as our talisman in midfield, also helping the attack. And it's a very decent finish from a striker. Let's go. Oh and Columbus crew is on the attack, almost straight from kickoff. And it's a great interception by Chiellini, who is of course also playing his first game in America. The first game for a different team than Juventus and he is doing quite well so far. Dani Alves with a great through ball to Smith. Smith, ah the keeper just gets to it. Dani Alves with the cross from the corner. And it's Smith and it's 3-0. It's 3-0 within 30 minutes. Wow. And once again an assist from Dani Alves who is on one goal and two assists. I'm counting the rebound as an assist as well. But this is going way too easy. I might actually have to change some sliders because of this. Because this is way too easy actually. It's Dani Alves from 31 yards. I'm absolutely terrible at free kicks, so I'm just going to shoot it and hope for the best. I don't know what I just did, I just clicked some uh, things on my PlayStation controller. Oh, and that's a great slide tackle by Cameron, our right back. Fantastic defending. Oh, and the Columbus crew have a big chance, but it goes in the side net. Not great defending from the corner, but we get away with it, luckily. Oh, and this is a great through ball from Columbus crew. Great interception from Chiellini, well done. He's actually very good in comparison to the attackers he is facing, so his rating definitely does help if anyone was wondering. And here's Columbus Crew again. And once again a great interception by Cameron. Our right back is doing fantastically together with Chiellini. And this is a great ball from Columbus Crew and they are scoring their first goal of the game just before half time. We haven't really gotten much off the ball since we scored a 3 0, which is quite surprising. But Columbus Crew have definitely got themselves together, and it's a nice goal past our goalkeeper. And it's immediately half time. Let's see. Dani Alves is doing okay with his stamina. He has 67 stamina and high medium work rate, so. Just to have him on the pitch for most of the game, I will put his interceptions to conservative because it will basically mean he will try and, well, basically intercept the ball less, which is fine by me. 
We have four defenders uh, behind him and lawyer dies. So this should still be fine. And Zardes has the ball. Great interception. Great pass to Smith. Can Smith score a second? He can't. Can we maybe score from another corner? Dani Alves with the cross. Lawyer dies on the edge. And a great save by the keeper. Oh, and by the way, if you guys think the gameplay is a bit laggy or something, I'm sorry for that. I can't really change it, I think. I'm going to try my best and see if I can, you know, get the best gameplay possible, but I can't promise anything. Just let me know if you find it annoying or not. Oh, and that's a great goal from Campbell. Wow, 4-1. And that's probably just before his substitution, because it's the 17th minute. Let's just see who we can take off. Uh, Martin can come on for Smith. Jones can come on. He does have quite a good rating. So let's sub him on for uh, Danny Alves. And let's give... Mm, let's try Cortez as a right back. Or as a left back. We will change our left back. Cuesta to a right back because he is right footed and Cortez is left footed. But yeah, if you guys find the gameplay a little bit laggy... Please let me know in the comments what you think of it. Hopefully it's good enough. I really hope. Otherwise you probably don't even uh, see this video. Because I've tried quite a few times already and it didn't work. So good ball to Campbell. Lawyer Dias has the ball. Can he score his first goal for the club? He can't. That's a terrible shot. Of course he's left footed. So could have kind of expected that. But you hoped for a little more from a professional footballer. Martin's first touch on the ball. It's not too bad. He's creating a good chance for Zardes who can pass the ball to Lawyer Dice. Lawyer Dice on his good foot and he still shoots wide. Oh, what a chance for Lawyer Dice. Once again to score his first goal. And that's well wide again. The manager is absolutely furious. And Chiellini with another great interception. He's doing absolutely amazing. Definitely had a very good debut today. Of course, couldn't keep a clean sheet, but he can't do it all on his own, so... And another great interception. Now Columbus Crew has another corner. Easy cleared out, I imagine. Not very well done by Cortez. And Columbus Crew get another corner. Can we actually get the ball out this time? We can't, but they shoot over. Darlington Nagbe shoots, or actually heads the ball over. And the New York Cosmos win their first ever game. It's, of course, for the cup. It's not the MLS just yet, but it's a very good start. We are uh, through to the uh, next round. 4-1, Danny Alves with a goal, two goals from Smith, and Campbell, our right mid, scores as well. Definitely not bad at all. And it's our second striker, Jeremy Smith, who is actually the man of the match with an 8.5, two goals. Danny Alves has an 8.2, and he has a goal and an assist as well. Campbell has an 8.3, also a goal and an assist, and Roman also got an assist. So, definitely not a bad start, I should say, right? So the first league match is going to be against Nashville, but I'm going to leave that for the next episode. This was just kind of a yeah, testing uh, episode, I should say. Uh, I hope you guys liked it. I really did. I really love this creator club uh, idea, basically, and I love the history behind the New York Cosmos. Of course, check my previous video or the first podcast episode, which you can, of course, listen to or watch whilst actually starting up the save. I will highly recommend this to anyone to just try out. Maybe you can play with me. Uh, let me know in the comments which transfers you, are, you guys are making because there are a lot of 32 plus year old players. And well, let's just uh, try and have some fun. If you guys have any rules or suggestions or maybe objectives I should try to reach or maybe try to not break, I should say, then also let me know in the comments. Yeah, and this was just a bit of a testing episode. I will play a lot more games in the next episode if the gameplay is actually correct or if the gameplay is actually good, I should say. Of course, you have noticed I'm not English. My English isn't the best, so I'm sorry for some grammar or pronunciation mistakes, um, but I will try and get better with each episode. I will see you guys at the next episode. Leave a like if you enjoyed it and be sure to subscribe to my channel to never miss another episode. And I will see you at the next video.